Hey Starseeds, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a very chocolatey, fatty, super delicious vegan chocolate cake. And so if you guys are looking for a healthy chocolate cake recipe, this is definitely not the one. Although if you do want me to make a healthy chocolate cake recipe, please leave a comment down below and I will gladly prepare one for you. But today's video is dedicated to Rahimi. Uh, Rahimi is this girl that I met recently on social media. She's been watching our videos for about a couple years now and I'm so happy that she finally reached out to me. And she's such a sweet, sweet person. Anyway, her sister just got married and she has been wanting to make this uh, like a chocolate cake recipe, something super fatty for after the wedding. Uh, so this one's for you, um, Rahimi. I hope you like it and I wish you all the best. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is open up a can of coconut milk. Now this is 80% coconut, 20% water. So it's very thick and creamy, and this is what you need, okay? We're gonna combine this with two teaspoons of vinegar. So shake it up. Open it up, and you are going to need one and a half cups of this goodness. So now you're gonna pour it into your bowl of choice. That's one cup and another half cup. So now we're adding two teaspoons of vinegar. And with my grandma's super cool spoon, we're just going to mix it all up and set it aside. So now to a fresh bowl, we are going to be adding all of the dry ingredients, starting out with two cups of all-purpose flour. Two thirds of a cup of raw cacao powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder. Using a whisk, you're just going to mix all of the ingredients up until there are no lumps. You want it to be nice and smooth, like so. So now that we've finished with all the dry ingredients, we're going to push the bowl aside, take a fresh bowl, and now we need to deal with all of the wet ingredients. So to a fresh bowl, you're gonna add one and a half cups of beautiful coconut sugar. And to it, we're gonna be adding some olive oil. Oh yeah, this is gonna add a nice fat content in our chocolate cake, making it rich and dense. So you can blend your sugar and oil with a whisk, uh, but I'm gonna be using a mixer today. If you're watching this, you're probably thinking, wow, why in God's name would she use olive oil in this recipe? But I promise you guys, it will make for such a moist and dense crumb. And also the combination of olive oil with this coconut sugar is gonna make your cake so intense and rich. So don't skip it. So now we are going to add in our coconut milk and vinegar mixture. Mmm, delicious. So I know it's a little old school using a hand mixer, but I love this thing. So once again, we need to mix all this up until it's smooth and delicious. So what we're gonna do now is take the wet ingredients and pour it into the dry. Marry the two together. Mmm. So good. Once again, we're gonna use the mixer to mix it up. So at this point, I find that the batter is a little too thick. So I like to add in about two tablespoons of vegan milk just to thin it out slightly. And once again, mix it up. Okay, so our batter is so creamy and delicious and it smells incredible in my kitchen. Very, very chocolatey. I can't wait for you guys to make this. Uh, we are going to be baking this baby, so get out your baking trays. So I have my cake form here and I'm, I lined it with parchment paper and now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in all of this amazingly delicious chocolate batter. Uh. So we're gonna bake this for 35 to 38 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. You don't want to bake this longer than that because then the cake will get too stiff. So before you pop it in the oven, you just want to make sure that the batter is evenly distributed. Just use a spatula to make it as even as possible. So while our cake is baking, we are going to make the frosting. This is gonna be a vegan buttercream frosting. Let's get to it. We're doing four cups of icing sugar. This is organic icing sugar. Two thirds of a cup of vegan butter that is softened at room temperature. 
We're sifting in six tablespoons of raw cacao powder, six tablespoons of soy milk. We're gonna mix it on low speed. So our cake is out of the oven and it has cooled. And now we're just going to frost our cake with this chocolate goodness. Just placing some of that vegan buttercream frosting in the center of the cake. And just using a spoon or a spatula, you're just going to work your way from the middle to the sides of the cake, to the end of the cake, making sure that you evenly distribute the frosting. Now this frosting is a little bit on the looser side because that's how I like my frosting. But if you like yours a little stiffer, then you could try adding a little bit more icing sugar, but this is the way I like it. So I frosted my cake and now I'm gonna add in some really fun sprinkles. I love these. So my cake is ready and I'm gonna go in and cut a piece for you guys. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, so the cake looks amazing. It looks nice and dense and moist on the inside and it's still a bit warm on the inside. Yum, can't wait to try it. Oh. Mm. oh my God, this is like so chocolatey. <laughs> I truly hope you guys tried this recipe. It is so decadent, so rich. Mm, I just need a glass of vegan milk right now. Rahimi, I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you make it now that your sister's wedding is over. Lots of love to everybody. Don't forget to subscribe because we are here every single Wednesdays and Sundays giving you delicious plant-based goodness. See you soon. Don't forget to hit that like button.